Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, we got the latest Palace release in. Let me open the box. Let's start the unboxing now, because I'm going to want to tell a story and talk, and I know people end up posting the timestamp of when the actual package gets opened, <laughs> because they are like, oh my gosh, it took you, it took you five minutes to open the box. I'm sorry, I just like to chat. This is kind of a nice, handy way to uh, have the box, though. And I guess we pull up the sides. So this is the Harrods release. Palace collaborated with Harrods Department Store. Oh, oh my gosh, how sweet is that? That's very cool. I love how they do their boxes. Of course, Harrods being a London, a UK-based... Oh, we're going to have to set this down again department store. I've never been there myself, but my dad, he does a whole bunch of stuff. He was a defense contractor for a while for the Air Force, and he was there. What's the best way to open this? And he picked me up some souvenirs from there when he was there. This was years ago. So I, at the very least, knew what it was. And, you know, Supreme just recently collaborated with Tiffany & Co. So I thought that was cool. Supreme had Tiffany. Palace has Harrods. Because obviously Palace is UK based. And here we go. Oh my gosh. Get ready for this, folks. This is going to be sweet. Now, I will be honest. I thought the packaging for this would have been a little more substantial. <laughs> Instead of just being wrapped in a piece of tissue paper. All right, so we got a bunch of paperwork here. Looks like it's mostly, and obviously I'm not showing this to you with my address and everything on it, but uh, it's just the return information and a packing slip. So very nice, very handy. Nothing else in the box. And then here we go. So I brought out a piece of paper to let me know what the dates and stuff were. When did I order this anyway? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Looks like on the, tw the 12th, really? Because what's today? The 13th, 12th, 11th, 10th. No, it was actually the 10th. It was Friday the 10th. Palace had a collab with Harrods. Here we go. Let's take a look at this first of all. Oh, so we have the leather card holder. Oh my gosh, I love it. Wow, this leather feels so nice. But I love how they did the Palace in the Harrods font. And they still, though, did put Herod's on the back. Great stitching, great feel to the leather. I wanted a piece that was the, the green and gold because for the hoodie, which was the second piece that I picked up, which we will unbag now, I got it in the black and gold. I was just like, when am I ever going to wear a green and gold? Green is not a great color on me. So I wanted this because I obviously I don't resell. I buy everything to wear. And this was something I was like, well, I obviously want to wear this. So I've got to get it in a color scheme that I would love to wear it in. And the lighting kind of almost makes this look reddish. Is there a better light? So it has the Herod's tag on it. That's very cool. And some more tags on there, just as if you had purchased it from the department store itself. So again, this was from the Harrods website, which was very interesting in terms of trying to acquire this. Because the release was at 11 GMT. I don't even know what that stands for, something Meridian Time, even though in the United States I commonly think of GMT as General Mountain Time. But uh, that meant I had to get up at like, geez, what was it? I thought it was, I looked online, I Google converted the time frame from 11 GMT to Central Time, and it was like 5 a.m., so I set my alarm for like 4.45. Look at this. So it has... Herod's actually on the sleeve, which is super cool, embroidered. Gold lines on the body, torso of the hood, as well as on the sleeve cuffs. And of course, just this, this, this thick gold embroidery just looks so fantastic. Um, but 
So I got a, I set my alarm for 445, 4.55 and I got on the website and it was already up. It was already available. So, and I, at that time I had a, I had my choice of pretty much everything though. I got, uh, I attempted to get a t-shirt as well. Now the t-shirt, I think I also tried to get it in black and gold. Um, but for some reason there were shipping restrictions. I couldn't get it shipped to the United States, but these two things I absolutely was. And I wanted again, because I got the hoodie in black and gold, I had to get something in the classic Harrods green and gold. So that's why I went with the card holder for that. But that is, and now let's like actually put this so that we can see the whole thing now. Something I was really looking forward to as soon as I heard about it. Of course, I would have liked that hamper of food and stuff, too, they had. But unfortunately, that was not uh, something that the, was available for the United States. So hopefully you can kind of see this. It's a big old hood. Palace hoodies I generally get in extra large because the larges are a bit tight on me. I'm a supreme large, but I'm a palace extra large. Even though the body ends up being really loose, it's mainly the neck hole. You, if you've seen me, I have a thick ass neck. Sorry for cussing. And uh, yeah, so I have to get an extra large in palace. This hoodie just looks freaking fantastic. I almost want to wear it today, but I'm going to go get something to eat and I don't want to already get stuff on it. The first day that I have it. See how it looks like black down here but once you get up here it looks red that is totally just the lights let's <laughs> step somewhere where it's not see it's this is it right here black and gold how sweet does that look oh my gosh all right folks that'll do it thank you all so much for watching i do truly appreciate it and until next time